If you dream about building a cabin in the woods and being left alone, subscribe to the channel. Hey everybody, so I'm back here and uh, look, I got, the, I got the generator and uh, I fixed it. I actually took the carburetor off of it uh, and cleaned it up. Carburetor seemed to be okay, but one of the jets uh, was probably clogged. I just took some carburetor fluid and, and blew it through there and put it back on and it fired right up. So I got the, uh, I actually got the generator running, but now as I pull it out of the Bronco, it seems to be leaking gas. I don't know if it's the gaskets or maybe I didn't tighten a couple of these bolts uh, tight enough. So I'm gonna pop this off real quick and see what's going on here. Those are tight. Whatever, I'm running it. I'm getting work done. I didn't notice it yesterday. Whatever. I'll pull it outside just in case it does burst into flames, which everybody knows is not gonna happen. Ugh. been so long since I've been out here that I got to kind of remember where I left off. I knew what these numbers were before, but it's been so long since I've done anything. Looks like 64 and a half. So I've had a couple of people ask me, hey man, what did, what did you do to your thumb? This joker calls me, ask me a stupid question that I know is, is something that I'm going to literally drive back home and click a button. And I get done, get off the phone, I get back up there, start swinging the hammer, and I literally just drilled my thumb. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the nail's coming off. I just thought I'd show you guys the gross part because people, uh, were asking me, but yeah, it's just one of those deals. Takes you a minute to get used to the heights again. I don't like heights. I do it because I have to, but I don't like them. So we went to, uh, me and my family, we went down to Texas uh, a week and a half or so ago for the uh, for that Formula One race. I don't know if we got any Formula One fans here watching, uh, but we went down there. It was my first time ever in Texas and had some of the best food I've ever had. Not Not some of. I had the best food that I've ever had in my life. It was great. So I stopped by, I'm a big barbecue fan. If any of you guys are barbecue fans, then you probably know the name Franklin Barbecue. Uh, so I, got, I had the opportunity to go to Franklin Barbecue. You couldn't go in. You just had to, uh, because of COVID, and Austin's a bit of a liberal city. Um, it's closed, but you could, they're cooking, uh, but you had to like get it dropped off in your trunk. Right, you'll like this with my rental car here. Michigan plate. It was phenomenal. It was so incredibly good. I don't even know how to describe it. And we went to another place called the Salt Lick Barbecue. Also incredible. Uh, and that was in Round Rock, Texas. 
and we hit just a number of these little taquerias, um, just these nobody taquerias that were so fantastic. Uh, we, every, every day we'd go, oh my gosh, I don't, this can't be, get better. And then the next day it would get better. So uh, kudos to you boys down in Texas that are just cooking some hellified food down there. Hey, what you doing? Nah, just lifting up six by eights like they're nothing. Cause I'm like a freaking superhero out here. <laughs> here we go. Just right there. I hate, uh, I hate a strong word. I hate marking these uh, pieces of wood when they're wet. The pencil doesn't work great. Sorry about that. Okay, so I did a little uh, backwards measure in here. So, um, ends of the cabin at these doors are two feet. So this is, this is an eight by eight or seven and a half. So seven and a half, and then 24 inches, that's two feet, minus seven and a half is 16 and a half inches. So my board that I actually cut one of these at, you know, I cut these at 12, just because I thought I could do what I felt like. Those are wrong, which is no big deal, I've got plenty. I think all the farmers went down to the church and they prayed for rain. And all of their prayers got answered at one time. I have not seen so much rain in my entire 52 years on this earth. So starting to rain. Uh, I've got, I got that one in and uh, I, I'll, I'll get this one in here in just a minute. Um, and that's it, cause it's starting to rain. Oh, it's not even supposed to rain today. It's supposed to be sunny all day. It's mind boggling, the amount of rain. Here, look, look, this is just this giant puddle here, just from yesterday. It is, uh, it is great to get back out here and get back to work. I am a little discombobulated today, just hadn't been out here in a while and getting back in the swing of things and figuring out where I left off and all that stuff. Because with the, with the trip to Texas and the generator problem, I hadn't been out here in a month. Uh, but. You know, I got nothing else on the agenda. It's to get this thing closed in and uh, getting the, uh, the roof wood ordered. I'll be back out here tomorrow to, to put up the little pieces of siding here. This one, again, because I'm missing that one beam, I can't do anything with it. I've got to get that beam. So what happened, If uh, just in case you haven't seen the other videos, is uh, I, out of this entire cabin, I miscut one piece of wood and that's it. So I had to, uh, order one and it's cut. It's just not delivered. If you kind of watch this channel, the entire time I've been out here, there were, remember those blue piles of everything, all these pieces of wood were scattered all over the property. And now the only thing that is left are this, these two six by eights here and this one eight by eight, this really long eight by eight. And obviously a couple of scraps here, but this is all just siding. So I'm going to finish getting these up uh, and maybe even try to start siding some of this front. I'm gonna also say goodbye now because my battery is getting low. I've been out here quite a long time today, actually, and uh, my battery's getting low. So before I can't say goodbye, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.